If you're looking to escape diversity, boy, do I have the list for you. As a melanin-challenged individual myself, I've spent years researching the whitest havens in America, where pale faces abound and ethnic eateries are scarce. After exhaustive analysis of census data, public records, and anecdotal evidence from my pasty friends, I present to you the top 10 whitest states in the U.S. of A. Fair warning, you may want to pack some sunscreen. The reflective power of these states' populations could cause temporary blindness. But for those seeking refuge from cultural enrichment, here are your best bets for blending in with the mayonnaise-colored masses. Here is a brief history of white settlement in America. When our pasty European ancestors first settled this great nation of ours, they were pretty picky about who they let in. If you weren't white, Christian, and had a funky accent, you need not apply. A melting pot we were not. Fast forward a few centuries, and while things have improved, there are still some states holding on to their lily-white roots. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, these places remain predominantly Caucasian. We're talking 85% or more. How did they end up so vanilla? Well, a combination of historical settlement patterns and, let's face it, some intentional segregation. Take New Hampshire, for example. Founded by the English, Irish, and Scots, this state is 94% white. Same story in Vermont, Maine, and Idaho. Lots of Anglo-Saxon and Germanic immigrants way back when. Not so much diversity now. Wyoming and Montana were popular with cattlemen of English and Scottish stock and remain over 92% white today. Out in the heartland, Iowa and Nebraska were settled by Scandinavians, Germans, and the Dutch. Mormons and Quakers even made their way to Iowa. Fast forward and over 90% of residents are white in both states. Not exactly a Benetton ad, but for those looking to surround themselves with folks of a similar ethnic persuasion, these places fit the bill. Of course, times are changing, and the demographics in some of these states may start to shift, but for now, they remain predominantly white, a relic of their Anglo-centric roots. Being from one of the whitest states in America, I can confirm that we revel in our paleness. We don't tan, we burn. We don't blend in. We stick out like sore thumbs on beach vacations. But hey, at least we save money on sunscreen. Let's get into the 10 whitest states, a population of pasty complexions. Coming in at number 10, we have Nebraska. With a population that's 88.1% white, you know this Midwestern state is keeping it vanilla. After all, their most popular baby names are Oliver, Henry, and Liam. Montana lands at number nine, unsurprisingly full of flaxen-haired, blue-eyed folk. Originally settled by Germans and Italians, Montana's early cattle ranchers were mostly English and Scottish. You can't get much whiter than a red-headed Scotsman. Vermont and New Hampshire are tied for eighth place, both with populations over 92% white. As twins in both geography and demographics, these New England states were settled by English, Irish, and Scottish immigrants. Their shared culture of craft beer, maple syrup, and Subarus proves they're as white as the driven snow. West Virginia comes in at number seven, with 95% of its population white. Nestled in the Appalachians, West Virginia was largely settled by British, Irish, and German immigrants. Today, you'll find descendants of those early settlers proudly displaying Confederate flags, listening to country music, and wearing camouflage, all while remaining oblivious to their own whiteness. And the whitest state of all? Maine at 94.4% white. Maine's largest city, Portland, is an incredible 91.27% white. Originally inhabited by British colonists, Mainers today are rugged individualists who love lobster rolls, lighthouses, and L.L. Bean. They are the palest of the pale, embracing long, dreary winters and avoiding the sun at all costs. All hail the porcelain-skinned citizens of Maine, the whitest state in America. Being from the Midwest, I always thought we had the lock on whiteness. But apparently New England is the true bastion of pale. As the top three whitest states, Vermont, Maine, and New Hampshire read like a who's who of white Anglo-Saxon Protestants. New Hampshire was settled by the usual suspects, English, Irish, and Scottish immigrants, looking to escape whatever fresh hell was happening in the old country at the time. These days, a whopping 93.9% .9 of New Hampshire is white, making it a veritable sea of khakis and polo shirts. The state motto is live free or die, which I can only assume refers to their staunch opposition to any seasoning beyond salt and pepper. Not to be outdone, Vermont clocks in at 94.2% white. Apart from the Green Mountains, Vermont is best known for maple syrup, Ben and Jerry's ice cream, 
and Bernie Sanders, the latter of whom is basically their patron saint. Vermont winters are long, cold, and about as diverse as a Friends episode. If you're looking to escape diversity, Vermont is your promised land, and the whitest state in America goes to Maine. At 94.6% white, Maine gives new meaning to the term lobster red. Maine's largest city, Portland, is 91-27% white, making it whiter than mayonnaise on Wonder Bread. The state's popularity as a summer destination amongst the preppy set further cements its status as a Caucasian utopia. Pack your Sperry's and salmon shorts, we're going to Maine. In summary, head to Northern New England if you're looking to bathe in a sea of whiteness, but maybe leave your spices at home. When it comes to the whitest states, you've gotta hand it to those New Englanders. They sure know how to keep things pale. Three out of the top four whitest states are nestled in New England, including the winner, Maine, with 94.4% of its population being whiter than white bread. Maine takes the prize for most Caucasian state. Mainers have been proudly Caucasian since the English settled there in the 1600s. Now, hundreds of years later, not much has changed. Portland, Maine's biggest city, if you can call 70,000 people a city, is still 91.27% white. Compare that to Portland, Oregon, a real city, which is only 76% white. I guess hipster culture hasn't made its way to Maine yet. When I visited Maine a few years back, I felt like I had stepped into a live action reenactment of 1950s suburbia. Everyone was just so gosh darn friendly and normal. And white, very, very white. I half expected a soda jerk to offer me a milkshake at the local diner. The accent is straight out of Fargo too, don't you know? All in all, Maine seems like a lovely place to live if you enjoy isolation, natural beauty, and homogeny. Maine's culture is about as unique as Wonder Bread. But they do have lobster rolls, lighthouses, and Stephen King, so that's something. And who doesn't love a good lobster roll? I just hope I don't get trapped in a spooky hotel and terrorized by paranormal beings if I visit again. In all seriousness, Maine seems like a perfectly pleasant state as long as you can handle the cold and appreciate the simple life. Just don't expect to find much diversity or culture beyond the basics. For that, you'll have to head to more colorful states, but Maine can keep on keeping things simple and white, so deliciously, palely white. Look, I get it. We're simply curious creatures by nature. When we hear about the whitest states in America, our ears perk up. We can't help wondering which states have held on to their mayonnaise-loving populations. As a born and bred Midwesterner, I had a hunch a few states in my neck of the woods would make the cut. Turns out, I was right. Nebraska comes in at number 10, with a whopping 88.1% of its population identifying as white. No surprise there, given Nebraska's immigrant roots in the 1870s. Back then, you couldn't throw a stone without hitting a Dane, Swede, Irishman, German, or Czech. Montana stakes its claim at number nine. Talk about a state that screams white population. Between the blonde hair, blue eyes, and cattle ranching history, Montana was destined to make this list. Originally settled by Italians, Germans, English, and Scots, Montana remains predominantly Caucasian to this day. Vermont and New Hampshire are two peas, in an extremely white pod at numbers eight and seven, respectively. As New England states, they were settled early on by the English, Irish, and Scottish. Today, over 90% of their populations are white. I guess you could say they enjoy keeping things homogeneous in that corner of the country. West Virginia comes in at number six, with 95% of its population identifying as white. Let's just say diversity isn't exactly West Virginia's strong suit. They prefer to keep things simple in the mountain state. While the U.S. as a whole is diversifying over time, some states are clearly slower to change. The whitest states in America prove that, for better or worse, the past isn't always left behind. But hey, mayonnaise goes with everything, right? So there you have it, my ranking of the whitest states in the United States. Did your state make the list? If not, better luck next census. If so, congrats. Your vitamin D levels are probably stellar. In all seriousness though, while diversity is what makes this country great, there's nothing wrong with living in a predominantly white area, as long as we promote inclusion, equality, and kindness towards people of all backgrounds, that's what really matters. Still, a little more melanin wouldn't hurt some of these places. Maybe I'll take my pasty self on a road trip to broaden my horizons. Care to join? 
We can blast Old Town Road and drink lattes to stick it to the stereotype. All kidding aside, every state has its pros and cons, and there's no place quite like home. Stay safe out there, everyone. And remember when you're ready, we've got a lot of traveling to do.